Speaking of a body of work, um, first of all, congratulations on your show being extended <laughs> at thank the you. Elmhurst Art Museum. Yeah, thank you. Um, we I went there yesterday and I didn't realize that it, you told me that it took up three rooms, right. but I didn't realize that it took up all the rooms the entire in, museum, in yeah. the museum. I was like, yeah. oh, but there's other rooms, you know? Yeah. Um, and that, to me, that sweetens things a lot because, you know, it it's extended by popular demand. So it really kind of means like, folks are like, this is all I want to see, right. <laughs> you know, right. at this museum, which is really dope. Um, can you tell me how the installation came about? Yeah, it came about uh, the, the curators from the museum, Elmhurst Art Museum, came to my studio. And I think at the time they were just visiting artist studios or they're kind of getting, you know, trying to check the pulse of like, you know, what's going on. Lay like, of the land. What, yeah. So, you know, it was about two years before the exhibition happened. And I kind of figured like, all right, they, they might want to do something. And you never really know, you know, maybe they want to just do like a one day live art project or maybe they want to do a t-shirt design or maybe, so I don't really know. So, you know, we're just talking and I'm just, you know, letting them, letting them know what my art's about. And, you know, John and Sarah, shout out to them. Very nice people. Yeah. Um, you know, I think like months later, they sent me an email like, hey, we want to extend a show opportunity. This is our gallery spaces. And I remember talking to my team and I was like, that's dope. They want to offer, you know, an exhibition space. But I can't, if I'm going to do this, I feel like I kind of want the whole museum. Like, give me, you know, as much as you can give me because... <laughs> I can do a show. I, you know, I could fill up a gallery. Yeah. I could fill up a room, but I needed something that's gonna give me a bigger platform to share my story. Yeah. Like, you know, to just make a bigger impact. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you did that? Yeah, I feel like yeah, I feel like I definitely did that. Cause just like, like I said, people wanting to see the show more, and just giving them that space when they walk through the first gallery space. And then by the time they're done with it, I feel like they are able to take in like mm. I was, you know, there's always still room to grow. Like you're all you're always chasing that like that that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And I feel like I'm still like, all right, that felt good to do. That was a good challenge, good learning curves. Yeah. But also I accomplished a lot with that. But I still feel like, all right, that was great. Let me enjoy that. But how can I, you know, push it to the next level? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the it's a it's a great type of push, you know. You're you're searching for that, you know. I call it feeling satiated, mm. you know. Um, and I think as a creative person, if if you throw any level of curiosity on top mm. of that, you know, or ambition, even um, you you never you know you're never gonna really reach that point of being satiated, right? But um, what's you're the still word satiated? A uh, full, satisfied. Satiated, that's a good word. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to that one. Thank yeah. You. There's a lot of different things going on in the installation. Right. A lot of different mediums right. um, portraying the story that you're telling. Um, I wonder for the parts that, you know, you did and painted, mm -hmm. um, where were they done? Where did you actually do the work? All the work was created in my studio in Pilsen. Okay. Yeah. I have a, a studio on 18th Street right in Pilsen. Um, and, yeah, just there. Okay. So... You know, before before the show, I was just in there like every day, you know, morning, morning to night, um, just creating, developing. But even before that, before I even started like working, it was just let me come up with a storyline. Mm -hmm. Like you walk into the first room. It's I, I, to me in my head. I was like, all right, this is the introduction room. Yeah. You get introduced to like, all right, here's a mural on the wall. Here's a painting of like this kid in his room. And then here's like a, a sculpture and then the wheat paste. Kind of give you an introduction to, you mm -hmm. know, what you're going to see. The next space is like that, the boy's house, the bird house. Um, then you go into the next space. That's like the outdoor space. The kid is on the floor mm. staring up at the sky. Yes. Um, and then you see like the, the paleta cart um, sculpture. And then you see the yeah. paintings. And then the, the fourth space is you see the, you know, the full circle moment. Mm -hmm. um, so... Were there times when you were like, oh, it, it may be better for me to paint this actually in the space? Uh, like the well, house, there was like yeah. a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the house I painted at the museum. I have did a lot at the museum just because 
I don't my my studio is not that big for all of that. Okay. And I think the museum was like, all right, what's bro doing? Like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm gonna paint this wall, guys. I'm gonna wheat paste these posters on the wall. Like, I'm gonna go outside. I gotta redo this. And I was just like, literally in the front of the museum, like painting stuff yeah. and like cutting stuff. And you know, they were real supportive. But I'm pretty sure they're like, uh, we don't typically do that. Yeah. Like, because if you've been if you went to the museum, you've seen it's a beautiful building. The outside is nice. Like. You know, and I was just using it like it was my studio. Yeah. And But I just knew, like, you know, I had to do that. So, yeah, like, the sculpture, like, the birdhouse, the, um, like, the wooden sculpture, um, the wee paste, the, the mural, even creating the installation of, like, the out, outdoor space of, like, the giant, the giant uh, sculpture of the boy laying on the ground. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah, we developed all that, like, in the space. Okay. Um, a lot of your work outside of the museum, just mm -hmm. all the rest of your work almost, mm -hmm. um, that you do original work is big canvases, right? Like walls, buildings. Right. Um, and I wonder, you know, for the installate, for the, um, exhibit, you know, you, you kind of zoomed in, you got small, you had some smaller canvases. And I wonder what that process was like for you to go from so big to those smaller canvases. Um, yeah, I, it was, it wasn't that hard of a transition because I okay. think when I'm typically working in my studio work or like work on canvas, I, I typically work, you know, have to learn to work smaller and, but it was just, for me, it was just more of like, all right, how can I, like, what works do I show? Cause I have maybe like 10 pieces up and for me, I could do like 20 or I could do, you oh. know, it's like, all right, what specific, you know, works do I want to display here or what? stories do I want to share here and okay like what fits and what doesn't fit so you're always kind of in between the big and smaller space yeah I feel okay. like I need that balance mm. like I'll do you know a large mural and then I'm like all right I just want to sketch and then I'll sketch for two weeks straight I'm like all right it's time to work on some canvas mm. um and yeah I feel like I'm having more like understanding of what I want to do with my work now um I, th I feel like now, just recently, I'm like, all right, I can kind of sit back and I've done, you know, so many solo shows. Now that I did this museum, I've done so many murals. Like, all right, let me sit back and what do I want to do with my work or how do I even space it out in my head? 